So I'm gonna preface this video by stating the fact that we did not do nearly what there is to offer at the Lowell Observatory. Uh, we did check out the Clark uh, telescope, which was used to look for life on Mars. They also used it during the Apollo missions to, to decide where to land uh, by looking at the moon. But there are so many more things to do. They had the telescope that was used to find Pluto. They have the Putnam Collection, which has a whole um, like history thing. They've got several buildings, and we only went one or two. We came in the evening, which was really neat because they had nighttime observations, things like that. They always have a lot of talks going on, whether you come during the day or in the evening. And the best thing for us was the fact that we could kind of do a spur of the moment decision to even go in there in the first place because we have a reciprocating pass for not only museums, things like this Lowell Observatory, but also zoos and children's museums or like science museums. We bought it through um, a place called Boone Shoft in Ohio. I'll put a link in the description for you. And it got us completely free into this. So we weren't terribly disappointed to only do a little bit of it because we didn't cost us anything. All three of us were completely free. Um, but I highly suggest if you're into the planets or you're into stars to go and check out the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff. Really easy to get to. We pulled our 27 foot RV up there in the evening. Had no problem parking. Just a lot of really cool things to do but definitely wear outdoor gear because you're going to be walking between buildings. If you go in the evening then it might be a little bit cool especially if you go in the winter like we did. Um, or vice versa, it might be a little warm in the summer. But um, definitely super nerdy uh, science space place to go, for sure. This evening, we are high above Flagstaff, Arizona. We've come to the Lowell Museum to check out all things space and science. A little hard to see there, but this is the telescope that was created by Lowell to find, well, that was used to find the planet Pluto. Building canals in order to transport water throughout the planet. So the entire reason this observatory exists and the Clark Telescope exists is because aliens were Mars. He studied them until about 1916 when he passed away and unfortunately didn't find the aliens and now we know there are no aliens on Mars. <laughs> what do you think, Nathan? A bottle of three in one oil. They found this in the Clark Dome, which is what this is, behind the telescope clock drive during telescope rebuild of 2015. This is from 1905 to 1909. That bottle is over 100 years old. There's a little platform for going up. Look at all those weights, Nathan, for calibrating it just perfectly. A wooden chair. I wonder how many hours he spent sitting in here trying to find Pluto. They knew about it. All right, I just got some of the down low on this. It was created in, in 1896, could be 97. So this is original framework. Originally there were pulleys that pulled this roof. The telescope weighs a couple of tons and even today to move it they can just use their hands down at the bottom uh, because it's so perfectly calibrated and weighted. The original observer, yes, indeed did sit in that chair. Um, 
most nights, like tonight, they have it set for people to observe. Tonight, right now, they have it set for the moon, but sometimes they'll set it to Saturn or Orion's Belt or um, maybe Mars. He says it only takes a, a little bit to move it, and then there's a button that moves the dome. It's no longer moved by ropes. Um, this one, they can move it throughout the day, and it only takes a couple of minutes to move. When we get to look at the moon, we should be able to see a lot of craters and uh, re residual from when there had been water on the moon. So it should be really exciting. What do you see? You don't know what you see? <laughs> Are you looking through it right now? Is it right side up or upside down, or could you tell? Uh, it's going to be right side. It is okay. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Super cool. Thanks. Touch. Blow into it. Harder, harder, harder. <laughs> Thank you.